Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be reviewing the new strike that came out today. I, for one, love it. I'm a big fan of it. I think the only thing that I kind of have issues with, and not issues, more just kind of like nitpicks, is the boss himself. Don't worry, it's nothing like what's-his-face from, uh, from the Forsaken strike. I forget what it's called, but basically the Mindbenders boss. It's nothing like that at all. Like, this boss was a lot of fun. The whole strike was a lot of fun, honestly. It may be because it's new, but I do see this strike having a lot more life than other strikes. Like, for example, the Mindbenders strike. I think that one's bad as fuck. Like, the Corrupted, I think it's called. That one's bad. Like, it's not... Like, this strike is way better than that. It's way better than a lot of strikes in the game right now. So, this was definitely a good strike. Uh, Bungie, good job. Well done. This is exactly what we needed. So... Uh, for me, this strike is definitely going to be a palate cleanser when I'm doing strikes because it has enough different things and mechanics that it's going to like change it up for me, especially when I'm doing like strikes for whatever reason. It's going to be a lot of fun running this one because there's just a lot of things. I'm going to be going through the whole strike, uh, not bit by bit, but like the pieces that I really enjoyed the most. So... The first portion is you spawn in front of the second portion of the Proving Grounds in Nessus. And basically, you could run the whole thing up and kill people. But I just went up just because why not? And you get to a point where you fight this big ass cabal dude. And if you've been running Proving Grounds, you already know what's going to happen. He's big beefy fuck who will drop a shield when he's he when he has like what? A, when he, when he gets one third of his health down, he will drop a shield down and he'll have an overshield. So once you drop the shield generator, then his overshield will go away. And he does that, what, three times? So just do that. And that's literally the boss fight. But we'll get to the boss fight when we get there. I think one of the coolest portions for me was when we were going into this hell... I don't even know what it is, but... I'm guessing you hold like vehicles in here and the banter between Keitel and Zavala is great. I loved it. It was a lot of fun because Zavala is basically like, we just want to fight your champion. Call your guys out. They don't need to die. And she's like, I'm not going to take the, the pleasure of fighting for their champion away from them. And I'm like, okay. Like I love the banter. I've always loved the banter. And this is like a one sauce right here. So once all the enemies are down, two tanks come out, and it's just like, oh, okay, cool, let's go. Like, it's... <laughs> I, I I enjoyed it, but I, I can see people getting annoyed by that. Me, personally, like I said, I just enjoy it. It felt like... A con like It felt like I was fighting uh, actual warriors. I don't know. I'm probably just looking too much into it, but I very much enjoyed that portion. And then after that you get to what i think is bungie's really the big their biggest strong suit is the fact that they're really good at making interiors look fucking cool and right now you guys are seeing basically me and the um my fire team going through the underbelly of the tank and i love it from leviathan's breath to the raids to specifically the one i was thinking about was uh the oryx raid they just do such a great job with interior design and this is no different i very much enjoyed going into the inside of the tank and finding out like oh fuck this looks so cool i do i do think we could use something like the leviathan uh like the underbelly where it has like different areas and whatnot i definitely think we could have had a few more strikes in this tank which introduced different areas but that, that would have been really fucking cool, honestly. Like, just thinking about it, it's just like, damn, that would have been a fire. And another one of my favorite portions was the fact that the treads on the tank are actually going. Even though, from what I've seen, the tank's not literally moving, but still the treads are moving. But what's really cool is the fact that I didn't know, like, I didn't think you could get on them. I thought you were going to die immediately. That's usually, like, Destiny's M.O., so when I got on them the first time, I was freaking the fuck out because I did not want to die. It was a lot of fun. That portion specifically, I was like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I very much enjoyed it. And basically, this portion is not anything new. All you have to do is take two power nodes and put them into another slot. You have to do that twice. You even have to do that for one of the challenges, if I remember correctly. 
So after you put the power power nodes into those slots, then the next area portion the next area opens up and from there just kill everything and you get to the actual boss encounter. The boss encounter is not bad. I don't think it's bad. Uh it's definitely one of the better ones even though it does have a damage gate. I think it's done well because it's not like the Mindbender's damage gate. Well, if you know that uh, the Mindbender's damage gate, specifically, you have to wait for certain things to happen. And that strike can take you well over like 15 minutes if you're not careful. Especially the boss fight. The boss fight takes a fuck ton of time. I might be a little... I might be exaggerating a little bit saying it's 15 minutes, but dude, it takes so long. This boss fight literally took us like maybe, maybe a minute. It's not that long. And that's me not knowing what to do. But this boss fight basically works the same as the other boss fights from the battlegrounds where you do enough damage, take his health down to, or take one third of his health away. He puts out a shield. Destroy the shield generator so you can continue damaging it. It's not that hard. It's honestly not that hard. This is way easier, way better than the ones we've had before. So, like I said, I think this one is a much better strike than a lot of Destiny 2 strikes that it has. I definitely think it's... This... I still think Destiny 1 has the best strikes, but this is definitely a step forward. Because if this is the type of strikes we can expect, then I'm all for it. Because, like I said, I'm not really a big fan of a lot of damage gates. This one is done really well because you can take that damage gate away really fast. Where in other strikes, you can't. You have to wait for either a timer or to something specific to happen. So, good on Bungie for not making us uh, be annoyed by that. The next portion is the cutscene for after you complete it. I'm assuming it's when you complete it. I actually dipped out of the strike the first time I did it. And then uh, the cutscene came out. So I was like, oh, fuck. I, okay. So once you complete it, the strike, you get this cutscene. It's really cool. Uh, I'll put it up right now. Let our blood be the last spilled. Let this ground be hallowed. Let honor bind us. didn't order this. Bring me the one who pulled the trigger. They'll know who did. Are you all right? I'm alive. So, it's really cool. I think it's a really smart way for them to basically work out why there's still Cabal on the EDZ and other places. Because once you... Once you complete everything, you realize that uh, Keitel basically condemns any Cabal that's still on Earth. Basically saying like, oh yeah, if you find any Cabal, they're, they're criminals. You can kill them. So a good way to basically not fuck up the story or whatever. It's, it's, it's whatever's to me, quite honestly. But the strike itself, 
Oh, really good. One of the better strikes that we have in, in Destiny 2 right now. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'll let's things are in the description below. I thank you all for coming to this point and I will see you guys later.